What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, I'm at the shop, Auto Shop Life Headquarters. It's the weekend. I'm uh, getting ready to run through these power probes. Uh, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I did that post on the uh, Power Probe 3, the 3EZ, or 3S, the Power Probe 4, and the hook. Um, we're going to shake these things down. I, uh, you know, one of them is pretty new to me, but uh, I just want to kind of go through them and uh, some of the features on them. A lot of them have the same features, some more than others. A lot of them, two of them I've been using longer than the other two, and why I use them and what I use them for. So, if you guys are looking into Power Probe, seeing which one's right for you, this is the video for you. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. guys so I got them all spread out down the line we're gonna go through these bad boys one at a time talk about some of the features um, you know things I use them for what I know about them and uh, you know maybe talk about uh, some of the things they help me with we'll see how it goes but we're gonna start on the three then we're gonna move up to the new version power probes new version the 3z the four and then the hook all right, guys. So the first one's going to be the Power Probe 3. This is actually the longest one I've had. I've had this one the longest, but uh, all the ones I got, I got with the blow molded cases. They do offer these things. I, I know they offer this one without the case, you know, just a basic set, and then they offer this with like a master set, all the leads and all that stuff. I, I have all those sets separately. Um, but uh, this one's been with me the longest. Pretty much once inside, you got the unit itself. It comes with uh, about a 20 foot cable on this one, and then I think they got an additional 15 foot or 10 foot cable. And then, you know, I got it with a cigarette adapter and all that random. I got some random back probes in there and all that stuff. I got double tips because these tips do wear out. Like I said, I've had this one the longest, but I guess this one checked out. And most of these. Most of these power probes all have pretty much the same features. Um, there's a couple subtle differences in them between, I think the 4 has a longer cable, we'll get into all that, and then the hook obviously has got a you know a huge gauge cable and all that stuff, and some of the ends are uh, set up differently. But uh, standard unit here, you got your rocker panel, positive negative, your speaker, your circuit breaker, and then the interchangeable tip would I think like the uh, four millimeter banana connector, which is pretty cool. Beats the uh, one and two. I think the one it was unscrewed, and then the two or the two the one was permanent, and then the two you unscrewed. Um, but I got rid of the Power Pro two long, long time ago. It's got a speaker on it, and then that's pretty much it. Nothing on the rear and all that stuff. And then on this end of it, this is where. The connections, these are obviously interchangeable. You can pull these apart, plug them in, just pretty standard power and ground. And then you can put the, uh, you know, any accessory you have, whether it's the alligator clips or the 12 volt power. So I'll hook this thing up to a power source. Hook up our power, our ground. You get an audible beep. And this one's pretty much a basic screen. Nothing on the screen. Pretty much, this one has modes. The first default mode is just your, your tip, your probe tip. And if you got the speaker on it, it'll give you audible. They do change, so you'll know the difference if you can't see the screen or you got this thing probed on a wire and you're not near it. You'll be able to tell the difference between power and ground. And then it does display it on the screen also. It's got the circuit trip on there. I think it's, uh, I think it's 20, set to 20 amps or something like that on this one. Not 100% sure. Getting into the modes on this one, um, this one's just got one button and the rocker, but to get into the modes, you just hold the speaker button, it'll give you your, uh, that, I believe that's peak to peak 
in minimum, hold it again, you'll get your peak to peak maximum. That way when you're you know testing circuits and all that stuff, it holds it on the screen for you. Like if I touched it to uh, touched it to battery positive, it'll hold it on the screen. So you do it like a wiggle test on the wires or whatnot, you know, what have you, whatever you're using it for, it'll hold it on the screen and the clear you just hit the button. So pretty cool. And then it's also got the uh, frequency. Your uh, just normal frequency peak to peak where you could set the threshold on it. You can see the little P on there, on the bottom there. This one's good for, uh, you know, testing speakers in the door and all that stuff. You could actually hit it again and then adjust your threshold. So in this mode, you got your thresholds all the way down to 0.2 of a volt. You hit it. It goes into uh, increments here. One volt two, five, ten, all the way up to 50, and then it round robins back to two. This setting's really cool for, you know, testing those door speakers or, you know, sensors, wheel sensors, or maybe even crank signals. Um, this one's kind of nice. It's got the built-in speaker. So basically, you're checking the speaker wire in the door. You could just hook your leads up to it, and it plays the audio through the speaker, if you guys hear it. Let me set it. And you can hear audio through the speaker. That way you got a known good speaker. Most of the power probes do this, but that's how you get into the menu on this one. And then going back through, it round robins you back. So that's pretty much the settings on this one. You got the bright lights in the front of it. Obviously, these tips are interchangeable. You know, the Power Pro 3, it's a great handy tool. You know, this one is obviously my oldest one. It's been with me the longest. Um, this one I may be doing on the giveaway, too. So, that one's pretty much done. One button, speaker, get the job done. You know, run out to the parking lot, activate a quick uh, sensor, things like that. You know, I don't get too crazy with this one. It's just a quick knock around one. I don't feel like dealing with menus and all that stuff. And it's mostly just for testing circuit, circuits at this point. It's downgraded to just maybe testing circuits and, you know, making sure motors work and servos work and things like that. But great tool. Great tool on this one. So the next one, the Power Probe 3 EZ. This is actually my newest tool in the arsenal. Um, haven't had a whole lot of time behind the wheel on this one, but it's the same basic functions as the Power Probe, you know, the normal, the original Power Probe 3. Um, except it gives you, you know, kind of more menu buttons and it gives you more of a walkthrough on, you know, what it's all about and how to use it and things like that. Because I know, you know, on the Power Pro 3, you know, it's kind of one of those things you just grab and, and test motors with. You know, really don't go beyond that. I have, um, but, you know, if it gets any technical than that, I usually just bust out a, you know, a DVOM or the scope and things like that. But this one kind of steps you through it. It shows you exactly what it does and that way if you forget, you can just go back through and, uh, Remember, it also got a better screen on it, a um, lot of great new features on it, making it easier to use. But got the case on this one. This one, I believe, comes with the same thing. I think you got your 20-foot cable, um, you know, your ground, your aggregator clips, and then, of course, you got the extra in here, extra long, and the 12-volt, you know, cigarette lighter adapter. That's pretty much the case on that one. And then they changed the design on this one. It's a little more sleeker, at least in my eyes, but it still has, you know, the speaker. You still got your circuit breaker, your rocker, and then here's two for your speaker, and then to navigate through the memory. Um, it's probably, you know, an inch screen there, and it is full color. Let's get this thing powered up. Gives you a beep, lets you know it's on. And you guys can see, you know, full color there. It's got the headlights, the same, uh, you know, I don't want to be repetitive here, but the same, some of the same features. I won't, I'm not going to go through them all over again. Um, but this one's just got a pretty decent menu. Um, all right, so getting to the menu, you got your default. It sets you to the, the volt metering, which is your, uh, you know, voltage direct current. Um, then scrolling on down, I guess that would be my right is going to select it for you and then you got your speaker on off in case you don't want to hear it when you probe it 
but it does give you the light on there just like the normal power probe going back turn the speaker on then you can navigate through it by hitting the other button you got your peak to peak your min and max you could set your AC threshold on this one so it's gonna be you know anything under 0.2 you'll be able to get your uh, you know test your speakers in the door let's test it again here so I got this hooked to the radio out in the shop you can hear it it's not great but you obviously know there's sound coming through it so same features as a normal power probe except it's easy to use you know easy to find on this one um, going through you got your flip screen if I could get this backwards you got your flip screen so select that hit that button it flips the screen for you that way if you're probing a wire you're not probing it backwards or upside down um, and then it's got the easy learning you could go to it just gives you kind of a you know step by step what this thing's all about how to navigate through the menu and all that stuff you know that way if you forget you don't have to break out the instructions you know how to set thresholds and things like that and then it also this is pretty much this setting tells you pretty much what it is what everything's about and all that stuff and then if you go out to the diagnostics kind of kind of go through everything and then that shows you kind of how to use it you go peak to peak and then it shows you exactly how to use it and all that stuff you know press switch forward to set all alternated ripples so so basically, if you have it on this setting, and you start it, and, and have it run, you could see your alternator dropouts, you know, your diode and all that stuff on the alternator, so that's pretty cool, that's a pretty cool feature. Um, scroll down, hit max peak to peak, okay, so go down to the next one, it pretty much, uh, turn vehicle on, press switch forward to set and then you can see your charging volts so obviously when this thing's running you'll be able to see if the alternator's charging at the time pretty cool one all while it's running not even at the alternator you just got this and you know um, so we'll go down to min peak and then uh, this will give you your drop down pretty much so you basically battery positive press left and then you'll be able to start the vehicle um, press right button then scroll down to the AC threshold and then this shows you how to kind of set it and all that stuff so it gives you a step-by-step -step, you know what to do you know what to look for you kind of run through this a few times and then you'll know exactly where the buttons are I'm still I'm still kind of learning it's also difficult doing this thing backwards and all that stuff you know what buttons to bring down the menu and what buttons to select and all that stuff um, but let me get out of this real quick so back to the menu but yeah that's pretty much this one in a nutshell um, like I said, I haven't had much time with this one. I'll probably be replacing the original Power Probe 3 with this one, start using this one more. I do like the screen. I do like the color. Um, it feels better in the hand. Uh, you know, there's no fancy bells and whistles. This one's pretty much going to just get to the point, and that's exactly what I'd use the Power Probe 3 for. Um, probably costs a little bit more than the original Power Probe 3, but you got more of the features, and, you know, it's less of a learning curve if you forget how to get to a certain menu or use a certain feature on it. So, definitely like this one. Alright, so this next one, guys, the Power Probe 4. This one, great tool. I, uh, you know, probably have to say this is probably my favorite one. Uh, this one's got, you know, loaded with features. Power Probe did a fantastic job making this one. I know this one's been out for a while. Um, you know, I haven't had it too long, but I've definitely used it on a few situations that it's helped me on. Um, you know, I do use this one for just a couple certain things, you know, obviously if I'm just doing basic stuff like, you know, testing a speaker or the things we just talked about with the Power Probe 3 and the 3S, you know, I don't use with this one. This one's more or less, uh, you know, some of the other features. The driver test I've used a, probably, you know, a handful of times. Mess around with the injector test mode it has. That's a pretty cool feature. You know, I've, I've dabbled in that a little bit. Um, you know, I, I like to test things differently. You know, si situations you break out certain tools. But, uh, you know, when it's needed and this is the tool you need for the job, it's a great one to have. But same thing with the box. This one's actually got a longer cord. They don't give you the extra, they don't give you the extra cord, but it does come with, instead of 20 feet, I believe this one's like 24 feet. Uh, it's obviously thicker gauge, but uh, pretty much the same alligator clip type that came in this one. And then instead of the ground being stationary, it's kind of like the hook or the snap-on multi-probe 
where you can kind of switch it out and you know probe a wire or whatever whatever adapters or accessories you have you could use with it it's not stationary or a permanent ground clip so I'm getting to this one this one's definitely bigger in size comparison than the three um, it's got a bigger screen it's got one more button it looks like but pretty much all the same it's got the headlights you know your four millimeter probe tip for your accessories your speaker um, and then it's also got a back where you could service the circuit breaker and things like that which is pretty cool I thought that was pretty neat um, be able to get replacement parts for this thing um, you got your clear button you got your speaker button and then the mode it's pretty much easier to navigate than the power probe s where it's just two buttons and you got to know what to select and you know what to scroll this one pretty much tells you on the screen so it's easier to navigate through but uh, some of the full colored screen some of the features on this one's got the uh, you know voltage direct current you got you go to mode you could switch through the modes um, you got your driver test so basically you could check these modules direct um, per se a couple of the times I've used it um, just used I hooked up the scanner to a driver I think it was a I think it was a, a coil driver you know two and three I was uh, I was suspect about the drivers being bad in the PCM so I just kept basically you know did bi-directional on the scan tool and this one delivers a you know a safe voltage so you ain't got to worry about frying the drivers if it is good <clears throat> you ain't got to worry about frying the driver so it'll test you know the modules directly or you know if you got it on a body control module and the window switch ain't working and you think it's a module that's bad or something like that this test it, test it right at it that way you could hook up the scanner roll down the window and see if the problem lies in the module itself if there's no circuit going out you know nothing hap no action happening out of the module you know it's good or bad you know you'll know it's not a switch or a wiring problem you know it's directly coming from the module itself so that's a really nice feature to have on there um, basically you select it and that's how you go to it you put the tip on whatever driver you're testing and uh, it'll kind of go through it for you um, going through the fuel injector one this one's a pretty cool mode um, you got pretty much four settings on this one you you know you hook power ground up to the injector you'd be testing one at a time uh, first ones in milliseconds that's your total time your injectors delivering fuel you got your inductive kick te test voltage uh, that's a great way to kind of compare all the injectors together that's pretty much all I really use it for to make sure all the injectors uh, pretty much are within the same range uh, this one's good for pretty much just normal injectors though you're not gonna be able to use that on you know direct injection motors or you know diesels or anything like that um, you got your ground going to the uh, injector and then your power going to the injector so pretty much four and then it cycles through as you're running it it gives you the live data on the screen the whole time so you got a nice comparison of them Getting back into mode, dropping it down to your hertz. Um, you know, not really, not really using this one too much. If I'm getting in the hertz, I'm usually breaking out the lab scope. But this one's great. You know, testing ABS wheel speeds. You test, uh, you know, alternator currents, things like that. You know, it's uh, kind of a great feature to have. Definitely, definitely for I, I would think the wheel speed sensors. Um, you know, great one to go to and use. But me personally, for myself, you know, I'm not grabbing this. For, to test ABS sensors but it's it's nice it's not it's a nice feature to have dropping on up you got your uh, peak to peak pretty much the same as is power pole 3 it's you know straightforward um, it gives you your min max and all that stuff and it uh, also has the uh, RMS setting on here too. go back so basically in the RMS I just hooked it to the speaker wire to kind of show you guys what it is it just it basically does the math for you you got your you know your min voltage your max voltage and then it just averages it on the main screen so I thought that was a pretty neat feature to have um, and then obviously the other normal one you're just peak to peak it's just it's not average it's just subtracted or whatever like that so here in feed test it pretty much switches it to a full-blown you know resistance checker you could check your ohms on it so basically you know one tip side on the circuit it actually it could check ohms going all the way to the battery so you don't really have a remote ground like a normal uh, voltmeter so that's pretty nice uh, nice thing to have so it gives you a, you know if this is another thing that averages you know you, your tip voltage and then what it does is it averages the resistance on there and if it's overload obviously it's going to show 999 um, but a real nice feature to have it gives you that audible beep and all that stuff and then you can see it just averages the 
from the tip to the battery and you can check power and ground with that you know both circuits obviously if there's no power running to it or if there is power running to it so definitely a nice uh, nice continuity checker ohm checker so back in the menu here scroll up to voltage direct current so this is pretty much the normal function of this one um, you know where you get power circuits and all that stuff and except with this one it's kind of nice it shows you you know the, the power at the tip it shows you the min and then it also shows you the max so you can see if you got any drop in it or anything like that or if you have connection problems with this unit to the battery it's going to show that right away that way you know you got a nice solid connection on this and then you know you got a nice solid connection in the wiring or the circuit you're testing back to mode I think that rounds up to the driver test um, peak detect it's a nice one it uh, the peak detect I've used a bunch of times this one actually works with the ECT 2000 and I actually got that tool here I don't know if you've guys seen that video where I showed you guys kind of the run through on this one this tool in itself has more features than I showed in that video but uh, what's great about the power probe 4 is this thing's got a uh, transmitter um, and I explained it in the video basically this thing transmit a voltage through you know uh, a circuit you're testing and then the receiver picks it up and sometimes this receiver is just kind of thick to kind of go underneath seats or in wire looms or behind an intake and all that stuff so instead of using this big receiver this thing will, will, will be pretty much the receiver instead so you could you know link it to the same circuit the transponder is going to put it you know the transmitter is going to put out the signal and then this tip you know it's a smaller tip smaller unit you could get it down into crevices and tighter areas better this will pick up what this puts down so nice, nice little feature how they work these things together. I'm not sure if Power Pro, um, if the Power Pro 4 works with the newer version of the ECT 3000 they got now, which is on my uh, list I'll be getting. I really like this kit, um, but definitely looking into the ECT 3000, and I'm pretty sure it's going to work the same. It'll still work together. And then basically when it finds, just like the transmitter does, it starts beeping. When you find the break in the wire or you find the you know, break in the circuit, this thing will do the same thing. When it picks it up or you know, you're going through it, it'll detect the signal. And then when you go past it, it'll say not detected. So a nice little feature to have. They work together. Going back to menu again. I believe that's all of them on here. Talked about Hertz. Talked about RMS. The feed test, your continuity test. And then your you know, voltage DC. So pretty nice unit. Um, you know, definitely like a lot of the features on this one. Like I said, this is probably my top on the list. Um, you know, and this one's pretty similar. I'm pretty sure you guys could score this thing right around the same price as you could score you know power pro three and four you know maybe a twenty dollar difference here and there but you know definitely like the features on this one um you know i it's it has its strong points i use it for certain things certain other things you know yes this thing does work on but you know i'd rather use a different tool like a scope or you know a regular multi-probe or even the snap-on multi-probe i have um it has a bigger screen it does a few more features than the power probe before it has but i had this one first so that's this one and uh, definitely like the way you could you know interchange the parts you know the circuit breaker the trips or it goes bad you could interchange parts you could get parts for it so you could service it they should have made it you know the wire interchangeable like they did on the snap-on multi pro but hey it is what it is but definitely like it definitely a great tool you guys are shopping around this would probably be my uh, this would be my top on the list if you guys are looking in the power probes and you do more than just testing circuits power probe for probably you know you get some most bang for your buck so the next one, last, but certainly not least, we got the Power Probe hook. Now I've had this one for a while. I've had this thing for a long time. I mean, guys, we could uh, we can make a movie on all the features this one has. But, uh, you know, basically you just want to kind of get the basics on it. Obviously it does every single thing those other Power Probes do, and then some. I mean, there's features that this tool does that I have not even begun to use it on but it does have it um, got the kit for it this one obviously you got the huge cable this thing's not just little alligator clips you know it comes with actual big you know pretty much jumper battery terminals because this thing could handle some serious amperage some serious circuits could run through this one um, it's actually set up to uh, I think the highest setting is the current draw I think the highest current current setting in this thing is like 65, um, but yeah, it comes with a super long cable, probably 20, 24, 25 feet. Here's the unit itself. It's got a huge headlight on the front of it. 
It's got this extra feature here to check relays that comes in the kit. I'll show you that. But uh, let me get this bad boy powered up. <clears throat> That's it on. Gives you a little tone to it. Same thing as the Power Probe 4. You could kind of connect any uh, you know auxiliary or you know accessory you got on here to hook it up. Um, just got this that comes in the kit, so I'll plug that in. That'll be our ground. But going through some of the features on this one, <clears throat> get a tip on it. You can see the light's nice and bright. Um, it's got the uh, internal circuit trip inside there, so it resets itself. You still got your speaker, you know, plenty of buttons on here, and then a nice wide screen there. And then this is just pretty much used to hook it. So as soon as you power this thing on, it gives you everything on screen, uh, pretty much the top. You got you know speaker on. You're set the default set to 20 amp circuit break. You got your switch on momentary, and then your threshold set to 50. So that's pretty much 50. I think is the highest this thing goes. It gives you your battery voltage right on the screen. You hit negative, and it pretty much switches straight on to the uh, you know an ohm meter. Um, this thing's got smart tip technology, so you know no matter what you're testing, it's not like you got to go through the menu. You know you touch power it. It's a it's a voltmeter. You touch ground, it's pretty much switched to a continuity or you know ohms tester, and then it's got the hot shot feature, which you could see. You know, obviously, if you got the some of them, you get those like the Power Pro Three, you'll get those uh, those false readings. So pretty much with this one, if you think you got a false reading, you could just you know hook it up to a power or ground, hit the hot shot, and it'll make sure that circuit can handle a load. It puts a load through it, and make sure there's no corrosion in there, there's no small breaks. Definitely dealt with, definitely used that feature before. Um, getting to it real quick, it comes with another little lead, so you could test your relays. Basically, hook this to the relay, put it on here, and it's got a relay tester. You know, it powers it on and off a few times to see if the relay test you know fails or pass. That one's pretty cool. Um, getting through some of the menu. Obviously, you could up your circuit breaker all the way through. You could, you know, 20, 25 amps, 30, all the way to, I believe, 65, and then it round robins back to two. Um, it's got, uh, go through the menu, it's got your power switch. So when you power it on, you know, this is just, when I hit it is when it goes on. It's got momentary, it's got latch, so it pretty much you hit it and it stays on. And then it's got pulse, so pretty much, you know, two seconds on, I think, two seconds off or something around there. Um, here's your AC threshold, so pretty much you can, you know, up and down it. Um, let me go back. So take it, same as the Power Pro 3 and 4 and all that stuff. You could set your AC threshold. This thing probably does run the speakers and all that stuff. I've never really actually hooked the speaker up to this one. Uh, but it looks like you got more of a setting. You could bring it down to 0.1 of a volt. So pretty, pretty intricate on that. Dropping down to your drop test, your LED drop, which is nice. Um, and then you could also set that all the way down. Um, you got your voltmeter, min-max, so it's going to save. <clears throat> you could set the threshold on your min-max or, um, you know, when you're using, when you're using it in, uh, you know, multimeter mode, it'll save it on the screen for you. This thing does do parasitic draws on a battery so you know obviously guys you know on these newer cars you know these modules stay alive for a long time or you'll get those intermittent parasitic drains on a battery you pretty much run this in series with the battery and uh you can leave it on overnight it basically turns this into the battery ground make sure everything's asleep and then it saves it so if it's on and you leave it on overnight it'll save it for you same with the ohm meter um it's got injector mode just like just like the four um some of these features, like I said, I've never really gotten into. Um, count mode, you guys would have to read the uh, instruction manual. Like I said, this thing does it all. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, and the price shows for it. This thing is an older tool. You know, I, I, I don't really find myself reaching for this one too much anymore. I did use it a lot before I got the Snap on Multi Probe, but uh, lately that's been my go to when it gets to, you know, advanced probing and things like that when I'm not using the scope and all that stuff. Voltage reference. Um, you could set the screen contrast in the menu here, and then you could save all your preferences. So if you rather have default turn on, you know, to 30 amps or 40 amps or something like that, you're running some fans or something like that. Obviously, if it's set to 20 amps, the circuit's going to pop. So that way you don't have to navigate through the menu every time. Um, here's the battery. Here's the battery drainage one. You set it up pretty much in the in series with the battery. 
um, you know, you set your your amperage to 65. Make sure all your monitor mo modules are off. Make sure everything's off the, off the keys out of there. You know, the vehicle's completely to sleep, and then you could run this one into power plus mode, and that's what will save your setting to see it run. You know, it'll tell you exactly the current draw on each circuit or any circuit you're hooked to. Obviously, you'd be hooked to the battery, so it's the whole vehicle. But you can isolate circuits and do them separately, and then it round robins back to circuit breaker. Uh, this one, guys great tool I, I mean I, I probably you know if this thing wasn't so bulky and I mean the wires dealing with these wires when you are using this thing it is a great tool they probably should have took note with the snap on multi probe and had this thing be interchangeable or serviceable it doesn't unscrew like the multi probe does but uh, like I said lately that's been my go-to one this one is a great tool it's got me through some major major diag I mean this thing's helped me out so many times and like I said I'm still learning this tool personally um, I have not used all its features but you know the smart tip technology is great you know you could grab this thing use it as a voltmeter use it as any anything it's you know it's pretty much ready to go out of the box you pretty much all you got to do is just learn how to navigate through the features and you know set up each diagnostic job the way proper way and it'll give you you know accurate readings every time so maybe on this one, you know, they'll come out with a newer version. I know they got, uh, I know they got another power probe coming out here, probably in June or July or whatever it is. Um, you know, can't wait to see that one. But if it's anything like this one, um, you know, the power probe comes out with some great stuff. But like I said, guys, this one, we could we could go on and on about some of the features on this one. But uh, you know, for what it is, you know, if you're doing simple stuff, like I said, well, like I mentioned with the power probe three and four. You know this one's probably uh, probably not for you, or it is. You know if you like using power probes, you like probing wires and uh, testing circuits. But I've definitely enjoyed using it. Uh, it's definitely made me some money, and it's definitely paid for itself. I'll have this thing, and I'll be using it. You know any chance I get, if I do need to. All right, guys. So that's the quick shakedown of the power probes. You know I hope I uh, explain this stuff to you. You know kind of the features of what these things do you know for easy to understand I know I know on some of them each of them has their own I, I like I said I've I, I use them in certain <clears throat> particular jobs power pro 3 obviously you're not getting too crazy with it you know you start getting into the four and the hook and all that stuff you know that's more of extensive jobs or you know long-term jobs the three is just the quick ones you know like the, the pocket scans the parking lot scans you run out there test the circuit real quick power up a motor power up a window switch or something like that to see if it's working that way you're not damaging circuits and all that you know anything in the shop you know I'm reaching for obviously the newer power pro 3 or the power pro 4 the hook like I said it you know it's sort of an outdated tool you know I, years ago yes I grabbed that thing I bought that thing when it was brand new um, you know when they first came out and I just I tried using it and learning as much as I can but that tool does so much stuff that you can't even imagine the stuff that's that tool does I mean you, obviously everybody has their own way of diagnosing stuff the hook when you fully understand that tool it'll fully understand the car it will fully help you out on the car I mean it's basically an all-in-one you know it's uh it gives you it's it is the ultimate circuit tool but like I said it's kind of bulky it's kind of pricey I know power probes coming out with a better one than that so you know looking into them obviously getting into the hook I'd say hold off and wait to see what the new power probe is all about or hold off and buy the uh, snap-on multi probe if you know you're getting into anything int intricate like that but the basic ones power pro 3 great tool the new version seems real great maybe I'll give you guys uh, you know six months year review on it uh, once I get that thing out there and get it used up the way the power the normal power pro 3 the original power pro 3 but you know definitely like the power pro 4 how it works with the ECT 2000 circuit finding all that stuff that thing does way more stuff than I've showed in that video, but uh, power probes, great tool. So I hope this video helped you guys. You guys are power probe shopping or thinking about getting another power probe circuit tester to add to your arsenal. The quick run through of these. You guys let me know down in the comments if you want to see any of these tools in action or how I use them in the cases I use them in. Let me know. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Check, catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.